Hey everyone, today we're starting a journey for beginners, learning how to make a one product drop shipping store using Shopify in 2024. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step exploration of the essentials of crafting a top-notch online store focused on one product. Before we start, I recommend checking out the link in the description box to create your account on Shopify. Let's get started and make building your online shop super easy. Let us start by opening Shopify.com. Once you are in, go to the search bar and search for Luke's. Now from the results, click on Luke's product reviews and photos. The initial step involves integrating essential apps into your store. The first recommended app is Luke's review, priced at $9.99 per month with a 14-day free trial. So click on the install button to start your free trial. Next, search for the Instant Checkout app. You can search for it and then click on the Install button, but it unfortunately offers only a three-day trial for $4 per month. Some users opt for additional apps to transfer data from AliExpress to Shopify, but this guide emphasizes manual data entry. Now, let's start the process. First, click on Online Store from your left panel. Moving on to the theme customization, click on the Customize button given right next to your theme. You can also add themes from here. Go to Visit Theme Store. Now, click on the search button from the top. Use the refresh theme for your store. So search for it here. Click on the Try Theme button given on it. After installing it, customize the theme by adjusting various sections. But first, click on Publish given right next to it. Then again, click on Publish. Once you have it here, click on the Customize button to start your customization. Shopify provides a user-friendly interface for customizing themes, and there are several tools within the platform that allow you to personalize the look and feel of your online store. Shopify's built-in theme editor is the primary tool for customizing your theme. The theme editor is organized into sections, allowing you to customize different parts of your store individually. Common sections include header, footer, product pages, and homepage. Firstly, let's add sections. From the given library, you can select the section that you want to add. Once selected, click on Featured Product. Within each section, you can adjust settings, rearrange elements, and make design changes. For the home page, tweak the slideshow settings, hide the featured collection, and add a featured product section. Next, click on Add Section and select Image with Text. Modify the multi-column layout and adjust colors according to your product. The multi-column section in Shopify theme, Customization, refers to a layout option that allows you to organize content into multiple columns onto your store's page. This feature is particularly useful for creating visually appealing and structured layouts. Once you have added the multi-column section, you're likely to have options to configure the settings. This may include specifying the number of columns you want and adjusting the spaces between them. Use drag and drop functionality to arrange and reorder the content within each column. This gives you flexibility in designing the layout based on your preferences. Next, click on Settings from your top left and click on Colors. Here, select the color scheme that you want to apply. Click on Background and select your Background Color. Move this cursor to create your background color. Similarly, you can adjust the text color as well. Just make sure your background and text color should be in proper contrast. Next, you can edit the Solid Button Background and Outline button. Then, click on Shadow and choose the color that you want for it. Then, in the Announcement bar, entice visitors with a welcome message and a discount offer. You can use all these tools to make the necessary changes in the section. Firstly, click on Change, given on Scheme. Select the scheme that you want to use here. In the Theme Editor, you can add custom CSS to override or enhance the default styles of your theme. This is useful for making specific design adjustments that are uncovered in the standard customization options. Now, go to text and change them to whatever you want. Keep in mind that words play a crucial role in boosting sales, so always try to use them wisely. Once you are done giving a discount, go back. You can also add links to your social media accounts to attach them here. Enhance the header appearance by using Canva to create a customized background. So visit canva.com. Once you are here, Click on Create Design from the top right corner. Then click on Custom Size, Add Width and Height as 500 by 500. Once done, click on Create a New Design to proceed further. A blank template will appear on your screen. 
Now you can customize it the way you want. Click on Elements from your left and then add shapes, graphics, or whatever you want. Let us try adding a square shape. You need your logo here. After that, adjust the logo size and set up a captivating slideshow with GIFs and compelling headings. Now to have the same color, go back to the Shopify page. Go to Settings and click on Background Color. Now open the color that you have selected for your background. By clicking on it, you will see a code right next to it. Copy this code from here. Then go back to the Canva page and here click on the shape and go to Color from the top. In the search bar, paste the code that you have copied. You will get the same color in results. Click on it to apply it to its shape. Now expand the shape and cover the full page with it. Once it is done, select a font style. To have the same color again to the Shopify page and copy the text color this time. Now get back and start typing. Once you have typed, set font style and font size from the top. Make sure your text should be visible and easily readable. Now select your text and click on text color from the top. In the search bar, paste the color code that you have copied from the Shopify page. You will be able to get that color for your text. You can also select a different color from the Canva library. After that, you won't save it. You'll take a screenshot and you just hover over it like this. The reason is that if you save it to the proportion on your website, it will look completely wrong and the logo will be very small and you won't be able to read it at once. So in this way, you just need to crop it. Now, come back to your website. Here, click on the logo from the theme settings. Then click on select image. Now click on upload image and locate the same picture that you have created on Canva. Once it is uploaded, click on done from your bottom right corner. As you can see, our logo has been added. Next, click on the slideshow button from here. One thing that I recommend is that before you start making your website, get all of your images ready because we need to upload them to this part right here. I highly recommend that you get GIFs as well. You just need to write in your product on Google and you put GIFs at the end, go to images and you have a whole bunch of GIFs. So click on the select images button and then upload all of the pictures and GIFs. After that, click on the change button and go to explore free images. From here, you can also search for GIFs, explore its library and pick the ones that are related to your product. Let's do the same by using Google Chrome. As you can see, there is a bunch of images and GIFs related to my product. We just need to save these pictures in our device. After that, go back to your website and click on Select from Library. Now, you just need to click on Add Images. Select the picture that we have got from Google. Once it is added, click on Done. This is how it will look on our website. Now, let's go back and edit the text. From here, change the text and try to add some catchy words here. Next, let's proceed to the product. Go to your Shopify homepage in a different tab and click on products from the left. As you can see, we don't have any products here, so we need to get one. After that, you need to navigate to AliExpress and locate your item. So open AliExpress.com in a new tab. Click to open its official website and make sure you are logged in. Here, you need to select the product that you want to sell. Once you identify your item on AliExpress, return it to your advertised product on the Shopify page. Click on the Add Product button. In the Product Name field, enter This is a Galaxy Projector or whatever product you have chosen. Following the name, include the TM symbol by clicking on Bonomark.com and double-clicking the TM sign. After that, go to the AliExpress and search for this product here. Once you have got your product, scroll down and copy the description given here. Although the provided example lacks information, typically there is more content. You can either copy and paste, modify it slightly, or craft your description. Copy this complete description and paste it on your product page. Concerning media, you can use capture images from your AliExpress supplier. To do this, right-click and select Save Image As. However, it is essential to seek permission from your supplier to use their images. Alternatively, a preferred method is to place the image in Canva and add your label. Now, click on the Upload New button on your product and then locate the images that you have saved from AliExpress. 
you can search and save these images from Google. Just search your product name there and you'll get a lot of related images and GAFs. You can save these images by simply clicking right click on them. After that, go back to your product page and upload them there. Moving on to price, examine your competitors on AliExpress to determine their pricing strategy. Aim to set your price lower to increase your chances of selling. For the compare at price, use a number that suggests a discount. In this example, I'll put 99. Also, add the shipping details at the bottom. Once you are done, click on save from the top right corner. As you can see, our product has been added. Now get back to your website and finalize it. Click on button links and then select products. From here, select Galaxy Projector or whatever product you have chosen. Make sure to select the checkbox Show Container on Desktop. Also, you need to adjust the image overlay opacity. Now go back and click on Featured Product. From here, click on Select Product and pick your product from the suggestions. It will be added to your page with all of its details. You can now edit its display settings if you want any changes here. After that, select Image with a text and go to AliExpress page. From here, copy the title of your product and paste it on your product page. Lastly, import reviews using the Luke's Reviews app and optimize the display. Consider adjusting the color scheme to maintain consistency throughout your store. On the footer, insert your logo and create a Contact Us section. Ensure all relevant contact information, including your Gmail address, is visible. Once you are done, save changes and preview it on desktop and mobile screens. This comprehensive guide covers the key steps in creating an effective one product, one click checkout Shopify drop shipping store. By following these instructions, you can streamline the process and optimize your store for a seamless customer experience. If you are interested in trying Shopify, I recommend checking out the link in the description box. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.